Hi, thanks a lot for having me. My name is Franz. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Inmanas. It's a platform which should simplify innovation for countries, but also for companies. Uh, today, I'm here to give you some ideas what impact I, I, AI will have on innovation. Why is this so important? AI is important, but at the end of the day, the innovations which will come out from your companies is core to stay in. What impact will AI have on companies? Do you know this person? He is a really famous guy. It's Clayton Christensen. Clayton Christensen died in 2020. He was Harvard professor, uh, and he is one of the guys who is called the most influential business thinker. And he is famous for the book and the research done in the context of innovator's dilemma. What he what we can learn from this book. He said, the risk of being left behind is enormous. Disruptive innovations are developments that completely replace or displace an existing technology, product, or service. So, and nobody doubts AI is such a disruptive in, uh, technology. But he also says, if you are not fast enough, entire countries will lose their competitiveness the disruptive technology can pose a significant risk if you are not fast enough. So these are the learnings. But what's important to understand uh, at the end of the day, the principles of disruptive innovation. If you have a look long time back to the Kodak case, and you know this Kodak case, but it's so helpful to understand the power also of AI. Kodak started with the development of the digital cam in 1974. And all of you know the story. It was not that good, and they stopped it because the requirements were not enough. But in 2002, there were the first camera, which was digital camera, and it takes them, and this is fascinating, in three, e in three years, they reached plus 90% market shares and all the other camps were out of the market. So what we can learn, disruptive innovations replace or displace existing technologies, products, and services. So what's crystal clear, generative AI is one of the most disruptive technologies we have ever seen. And you know the story of ChatGPT. And what we have to learn, that all AI will disrupt uh, uh, the business as we know it till now. And you also see that uh, AI will contribute a net of 21% increase in the US G GDP uh, by 2030. So you now with the estimation how big the influence is, you see also on this data. And uh, how AI affects the industries. Uh, for example, in healthcare, enabling more precise di diagnosis, personalized treatment plans, predictive analysis, and so on. In agriculture, precision farming, uh, crop monitoring, predictive analytics, and so on. In the industry, enabling smart factories, predictive uh, maintenance, quality control, and a lot of other things. But what is really shocking uh, it will revol revolutionize every industry, and what we have done is that in the platform we checked what's going on around the globe regarding innovations which are combined, a combination with AI, and in the last month plus 1,000 examples appear in the platform. So what we say, it's the revolution is happening right now. So you have to think how you can be part of it. But what's more uh, frustrating from our point of view is, if you have a look, what uh, does it mean for European countries and companies? If you have a look who are the leaders in this, in this competition, US leads the race, China is second, but have a look to the numbers. Investments in AI in US, it's plus $250 billion. In China, it's $95 billion. Nobody knows how much it's in real. And in comparison, Germany, $7 billion US dollars throughout the last period of time. 
So, and if you have a look to the leading companies by market capitalization, they are all companies from US. So, what we can learn? We can learn for sure, it's our opinion, we can't compete on the level of the base technology. That's the, I think, not the best news. But there is still a good news. We can compete on how we use AI to be more innovative. And that we also have learned from a lot of research studies, also done by Harvard Business Review. They see, they explain in different ways how AI can really help to become more innovative in all industries. Because this is also a chance for all companies. And uh, the question is what Clayton Christensen might recommend. And it's not what he said. It's what our co-creator AI said, what he would say. And the story is, maybe he would say, companies must embrace AI as a strategic imperative. Integrating it into their business models, processes and decision making to drive efficiency, innovation and competitive advantage in, an, in this time we are in. So, he might would say it, nobody knows, but the story is great, uh, which was generated by AI. So, what's the bad story? That what we have learned throughout the last uh, years, that we see that many companies don't have the skill to keep with these developments. Especially the small and medium-sized companies. The big ones, um, they are maybe a little bit late, but they have the power. But what we see that especially the small and medium-sized companies are really in a difficult situation. And for them, it's important that they also get forward. And what countries need to focus on, this is our opinion, is that they have to focus on three cornerstones. First of all, we need a kind of business transformation. And all of the speakers here push it forward. But in my words, we need to enable companies and institutions to use these new, these new technologies as quickly as possible. And you have to do everything, and the conference fits exactly in this, that you are motivated to go in, but you really have to try it out. The next thing is that the next business generation should be pop up, because it will change. Uh, that's what I tried to show with this example of the digital chem. So we need to help companies and institutions take their innovation to a new level. But if I am a small company and I am not from the tech industry, I need support. Otherwise, I won't get into this era. And last but not least, that's also our point, data protection. We need to ensure that the data are safe, especially regarding the topic of innovation. All of you know the Cloud Act from the States, and uh, a lot of big companies are also contacting us because uh, regarding the topic of innovation, no one is really willing to give something in these ChatGPTs or all these technologies which don't give you the safety net that the data are safe in your company, in your country, and so on. So this is important, and uh, at the end of the day, it's important that we also learn that it's necessary, don't think as a company that you can solve it all by yourself. I think as a country it's important uh, that you understand that we need to drive uh, the development of innovative ecosystems. And I see and we have the opportunity to help companies to go forward in this direction and we need to give access to all institutions regarding from clusters to startups to universities and so on, and to push it forward that you have an ecosystem which allows you to be better than the others. At the end of the day, let's go and innovate our innovation strategies as a country, but also as a company. And I wish you all the best on the way to be competitive in future. Thanks a lot.